What is some real shit that we all need to be aware of right now, but no one is talking about? Alcoholism can be easily treated with naltrexone but because the patent has expired the drug companies make nearly no money from the drug. So there is no reason to tell people. It's one dollar a pill. It also works on opioids. Also the war on drugs is a massive failure and the US desperately needs to fix its prison system. It seems like what's most important is whether or not to give tax breaks to the rich currently. All the plastic in the water supply seems like it's going to cause a lot of problems. Fake bots on social media being used to spread false information and is Reddit one of their targets. Super gonorrhea. It's a mutant strain that is spread via oral sex and is thus far not able to be cured except with extremely powerful. Still being developed antibiotics. Edit. Of course my top comment ever has to be about super gonorrhea. On the 23rd of July 2012 a coronal mass ejection crossed Earth's orbit. It missed us by 9 days. It would have taken out most of our electronics worldwide and taken us up to 10 years to recover. Bear in mind. Electronics means everything from Reddit and TV to our power and water supplies. I have bought some extra tins of beans just in case. The US is actively aiding Saudi bombings of Yemen. And they target pretty indiscriminately. No one in the media wants to mention that. The sperm count in men has halved over the last 40 years. That is too short of a time to be a genetic mutation so it must be due to another influence. There are some educated guesses, like hormones and the water BPA in plastics, basically acts like a synthetic hormone, and none of those educated guesses are good news. I know a lot of people say so what earth is overpopulated already. Which I guess could be true depending on how you look at it. But the fact that something is causing the male body to drop half of its sperm production is worrying even if you don't look at it from a reproductive point of view. It means there is something seriously going wrong with hormones. I felt like the vast majority of people, real people in the world not redditors, seem to not have any idea what net neutrality is or why it's important and that freaks me out. An iceberg the size of Delaware has broken off of Antarctica. A hole the size of Maine has opened in the middle of Antarctica. Giant methane pockets have been found beneath the ice of Antarctica. Which may be exposed at some point due to the ice melting. There may be massive volcanoes under Antarctica that are waking up. Melting the ice even faster. All of these things should very much concern people. Soil losing nutrients like phosphorus and magnesium. Edit to grab more attention. The stuff in soil that crops and plants need to grow is going bye bye. Edit 2 thank you for the gold kind stranger, cheers. Edit 3 I'm not talking about simply farmland, but that too. The issues with soil are vast. The majority of soil has been flushed drained eroded into the ocean in the past 150 years. The majority. Along with it goes the nutrients not limited to the two elements listed above. Erosion. And human waste being flushed down the drain all contribute to the problem. Please google soil loss phosphorus loss in soil before stating we can just put fertilizer down. The FCC is holding a vote the day before Thanksgiving to get rid of net neutrality. You would expect more people to know about this but none of my friends have heard of this. Neither has my family or anyone I talk to online. It's insane how people are so ignorant to the world around them and are worth just accepting that this is part of life and there is no point fighting for it. Please I beg of you read up on it. You can go to www.battleforthnet.com for more information. Please don't give up. Coke has reached critical capacity. They are on every continent inhabited by humans. Every country. They cannot expand anymore. The economy is doing well. The job market is solid. We are statistically very safe. We continue to make good progress in medicine. We're making great progress towards renewable energy and electric vehicles. Technology continues to make telecommuting easier. And benefiting the disabled. We continue to make progress on human rights. I could go on and on. And yet we don't feel safe. We're worried about jobs. We don't eat well. We don't get enough exercise. We worry about having the latest iPhone or console or car or house. We think the country that has been plodding along improving since inception is going to hell. And are killing ourselves directly or with drugs. Medicine. Food. Alcohol. Cigarettes. 
sedentary lifestyles, etc. And we can stop. But many of us don't. Acidification of the oceans. Penicillin and many antibacterial treatments are losing much of their effectiveness and will eventually be completely ineffectual. There are literally concentration camps for gay people in Chechnya, an autonomous region in southern Russia. The police in the Philippines have murdered approx 14,000 people in extrajudicial killings, including young teens and children. The president whose war on drugs triggered these killings has openly admitted to regularly take twice the prescribed dose of fentanyl and his son is a well-known drug dealer. His biggest opponents have been arrested on trumped-up charges and has tried to remove the Commission on Human Rights because they criticized him. Oh and he just admitted to stabbing someone to death when he was younger. Link. Edit for spelling. Madagascar is currently experiencing a plague. A proper black death plague. Internet privacy. As in privacy in general. Edit. It's not just about reading FB posts and social media. I wouldn't care if my Instagram got hacked. It is about tracking everything I do. Especially with people doing business finance online. They know what I mean by creating a secure password and saving it physically on paper. Away from webcams too. Even the highest entropy passwords will be hacked when time comes. We will need something else. Another example is e-voting. You wouldn't want that hacked. Look up Prosophis. Blockchain startup. Also self-driving cars. I wouldn't want to die like that just because of some bug. For those interested. Look up blockchain startups like Civic, CVC, and IOTA. Edit 2. Bitcoin is the undisputed king for time to come. Thank you for the gold. If only I could give you some IOTAs. Farmer suicide. In India over 100,000 farmers have committed suicide in the last decade due to corporate exploitation leading to a perpetual system of debt and neo-feudalism. Read. The patenting of life. Limiting liberty. And the corporate pursuit of seeds for more info. I live in central Massachusetts. Back when I was a kid. I remember spending summer evenings chasing fireflies around my grandmother's backyard. Maybe even catching some in jars and watching them do their thing for a while before letting them go. I also remember watching slugs crawl around during the summer. Occasionally poking them to see what they'd do. One time. My cousin picked one up and put it in his sister's hair. She completely lost her mind. It was pretty hilarious. I haven't seen a single firefly or slug in probably 15. Maybe 20 years. I don't know what caused them to leave the area. But that seems like it's probably kind of a big deal. Android security. Not many people realize what their apps are doing in the background. So many apps need permission to do this and that but in reality they don't need 90% of what they ask for. Species are dying off at a rate 10,000 times background levels. We are in the middle of the sixth major extinction on this planet. The increasing rate of older people lacking any sort of retirement funds. Because of this. People are working longer into their life and it has and will definitely cause problems for the younger generations as there are less jobs. This also causes a lot of problems with social security and medicare. I think this is the biggest economic problem that is completely ignored. New technology and innovations will continue reduce the amount of workers needed to produce goods. And thus jobs will start to dry up. Even new are beginning to replace intellectual jobs, early lawyer. Job market is gonna go through a serious Mackie over in the next 30 years. The district attorney in New Orleans issued fake subpoenas for years to get victims of crime to come to his office and coerce testimony. If they didn't comply, he would get an arrest warrant from a judge by stating that they failed to appear. No one bothered to check if the subpoenas were legal. In many cases the victims did more jail time than their attackers. You're supposed to see a judge within 72 hours of arrest. One person was jailed for 89 days without seeing a judge. Because they weren't in the actual system. It was up to the DA's office to comply. They used jail for compliance. In some cases they just held them in jail until it was time to testify and then compelled them by bringing them down to the courthouse. Orange jumpsuit and shackles. How much misinformation that needs to be debunked. The internet gave everyone a voice but most of them are dumb and uninformed. Why most college kids are going through insane levels of depression. More than half of the classmates I talk to are on some form of antidepressant. 
the entire media being owned by 5 plus large corporations. The almost depleted water table in the Midwest. No crops will grow without water being pumped in. It's approaching soon. Look up water rights and who's buying them up. There's a potentially huge shitstorm brewing in the Middle East. First the crown prince has essentially purged all rivals. Rumor is the PM of Lebanon is essentially being held hostage by Saran Al Saar. Bahrain. Kuwait. And the UAE are advising citizens to leave Lebanon immediately. The US retirement crisis. If we think it's bad that baby boomers won't leave their jobs. Imagine how bad it'll be when Gen Zs won't either. It's not reasonable to expect every American adult to save hundreds of thousands for an undetermined later date. 1. People have financial crises. Such as medical bills or being unemployed. That must be addressed before any long term saving. And 2. It's totally against human nature for every single person to think and plan that far in advance. Like all other developed countries. We need a system that ensures retired persons can at least meet their basic food shelter needs. Social security was intended to help with this. But we always hear that we can't count on SS to be around. And W desperately need people to retire so the younger generations can join the workforce. Our system of 401ks. No pensions. And meager social security support is a failure. The private prison industry in America. It's basically legal slavery. And it is absolutely insane if you read into it. I can't believe we've allowed this to go on for so long. And continue to allow it. Nestle drying up ground wells for their bottled water empire. That we live in the safest time in history and bad eating habits are more likely to kill you than criminals. Terrorists. And enemy soldiers. It is possible that the USA has already entered into a cold civil war and we won't realize it until it is too late. The culture wars are not guaranteed to not escalate beyond our control. I am convinced the media really really needs to stop making perpetrators of atrocities famous. Mental illness and the stigma associated with it. The lack of discussion of mental illness in conjunction with gun control is abysmal. We keep saying so and so was mentally ill. But nothing gets done. The Barkley Pit in Butte, Montana is going to be one of the largest natural disasters in US. History and we have barely more than two years to remedy it. Direct quote from Wiki. The pit and its water present a serious environmental problem because the water, with dissolved oxygen, allows pyrite and sulfide minerals in the ore and wall rocks to decay, releasing acid. When the pit water level eventually reaches the natural water table, Estimated to occur by around 2020, the pit water will reverse flow back into surrounding groundwater, polluting into a silver bow creek which is the headwaters of Clark Fork River. 1. The acidic water in the pit carries a heavy load of dissolved heavy metals. In fact, the water contains so much dissolved metal, up to 187 ppm Q, that some material is mined directly from the water. Montana has known about this problem since 1980. What have they done in the last 35 years to solve this issue? They open up a gift shop and a platform so you can pay $2 to slowly watch Western Montana and Eastern Idaho's water table be destroyed. Reading through all the shit in this thread, I can't help but feel like we're heading towards Bronze Age collapse too. Electric Boogaloo. The CIA has flat out admitted that even though culture was discontinued, Mind control experimentation still occurs under a different codname. Ending culture was just to get the public to stop paying attention to it. Antibiotic resistance bitches. Stop fucking taking antibiotics without prescriptions. Amongst all the sex scandals and controversies in Hollywood. Brendan Frazier's name remains unsullied. That there are literal concentration camps in Chechnya for gay men. Thousands are being rounded up and killed for their sexual orientation. How the brain cannot distinguish between what is real and what is not. Whatever you fill up your consciousness with. Will affect you and shape the future you. Commercials have been abusing this. And so has Hollywood and the media. The potential for honeybee and other pollinator species going extinct. This has catastrophic implications for life as we know it. The warning signs have been there for decades. Human activity is suspected to be the main cause. South African farmer being killed in random attacks. 
News outlet hardly make any mention of it. Edit. Didn't mean to put random. I meant sporadic across the year. Wrote the comment early in the morning when my internal thesaurus wasn't working properly. The people of Flint. Michigan haven't had clean drinking water since the 24th of April. 2014. Some other thread had a comment mentioning that some of the female actresses from the WB show Smallville are apparently involved in some sort of cult masquerading as a self-help program based out of Albany NY. Sounded far-fetched. But after looking into it there are a bunch of claims backing up the story dating back over a year. Obviously this isn't super important. But the whole thing kind of blew my mind and would be crazy if true. Apparently Alison Mack, blonde chick from Smallville, is like the number two person in the organization. They apparently brand their members with a symbol that includes her initials. And they worship some dude who claims to have the highest IQ ever. I mean. I guess consenting adults are free to do what they want. But the whole thing seemed really predatory and bizarre. That being said. I'd get on board if it meant getting to hook up with Kristen Crook. 14 year old me had a wicked crush on her, 